Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my two cents on the Body Shop India's latest release. It's a line of fragrances called Black Musk. It launches in India on the 1st of Feb, which when you're watching this is going to be today. I've had the lucky chance to kind of trial it for almost a fortnight before that and I have with me the UD perfume, the UD toilette and also the perfume oil. So three products all with the same fragrance and I'm just going to share like my review on it. I think the body shop is very well known for being cruelty free and for their musk range of fragrances. Their first one called white musk, I remember reading about it a long time ago. Or whenever you hear the word musk in a fragrance, it's sort of Many of us don't know what musk is, but it's an animal byproduct uh, from a deer and it's extracted in, of course, a very inhumane way and the deer has to die for that, for us to get musk. It's very expensive, but it's also very cruel. So the Body Shop's white musk fragrance in the 80s was a big deal because it was like the first fragrance to use a synthetic musk. So you kind of get that the musk qualities in a perfume while at the same time it's completely cruelty free. And then there was a red musk fragrance launch that was I think just a few years ago and finally now we have black musk which is supposed to be the darkest and most sensual of the three. I really am in love with the packaging. I know I say this a lot but packaging is something that's very important to me. I think the packaging is extremely classy. All the three products obviously follow the same theme. So on the outside, it's like black matte packaging with a little bit of this almost purpley, pinky, fuchsia um, theme here. It says black mask and this is the EDT. And when you start to open it up, the inside is all pink. I think the bottles for the black mask range look very clean and minimal and still a little old fashioned. And as you can see, they look similar, but at the same time, not identical. So if like me, you end up having all three from the range, you're going to be able to tell um, what product is what at a glance by the shape and size of it. So I'm just going to read to you what the notes of the black mask range are like. So it says here that it has mouth watering notes of bambinella pear spiked with pink pepper and bergamot. Uh, to capture pure desire. Then there's also heliotrope and also there is licorice in it which apparently is an aphrodisiac, who knew that? And finally there's black vanilla, my favourite, magnetic black mask, earthy patchouli and chocolate like vetiver. So now let's talk about what I think of the fragrance personally. I think it's kind of difficult to talk about this part because it's so much easier for me to tell you why I like or don't like a lipstick or an eyeliner or something than to talk about fragrance. It's very subjective and it's just difficult to describe but I'm going to give it a try and if you have any questions as always let me know. So personally for me uh, when it comes to fragrances I don't like fragrances that are too girly, that are too feminine or sweet like sickly sweet. I hate that but I also don't like very deep and very masculine fragrances. I have used like men's fragrances in the past just because I didn't like women's ones that much but they too can get really heavy. So I like something in the middle. I like things that are a little bit woodsy, a little bit spicy. I love vanilla and fragrances. I still like there to be a little bit of feminine and a light note to the fragrance. So this is where it just hits the sweet spot for me because when I read about it, it, it said that it was the deepest and most sensual. I thought that it might be like too heavy and it might have like very spicy notes and all that but it does have those spicy notes but I think it also balances it perfectly with the sweetness, the lightness and the femininity if that makes any sense whatsoever. If you're wondering what's the difference between like the EDP, the UD perfume and the EDT which is a UD toilet, um, I also looked it up because I had a vague idea but I wanted to talk about it a little bit better. So when it comes to fragrances there are like four different levels of concentration in a fragrance. The most heaviest concentration in a fragrance is available in a perfume or parfum if we are doing French here. So that would be like the most expensive. Uh, then you have UD perfume, EDP, which is what I have here. So that is the second most like heaviest concentration of fragrance. 
and the third one is UD Toilet and the one that's the least concentrated amount of fragrance is UD Cologne. Uh, that's probably why the UD Perfume is more expensive for a smaller amount and the UD Toilet is a bit cheaper also and you get a bigger quantity. So which one you pick for yourself, I think it would depend on your needs. Like if you're looking to wear this for daily wear, like to the office or something, it's not too heavy at all. I think it would be perfect if that's what you want. The UD toilet would be more suitable because uh, it's just not going to be too heavy um, on you in the office and you're not going to like fill up the whole office with your perfume. So. I think that would be perfect for more daily wear sort of thing. But if you're looking to wear it like occasionally and just when you're going to more special occasions or a night out or stuff like that, then the perfume is more suitable just because it's more concentrated and uh, you want to smell nicer I think in the evenings. And finally the perfume oil I think I was quite enamored with because uh, on my last trip to Pondicherry too I did buy a lot of perfume oils. I don't think a lot of mainstream brands actually make perfume oils so that's really nice. If you're curious about how you dispense this it's got this little glass thing here that you can just put on your wrist or neck or wherever. I think the perfume oil would be especially good for people who might have allergies to alcohol and fragrances because perfumes have a high concentration of alcohol and I know some people's skin doesn't react well to that. So in that case you can also get this perfume oil because you're going to get all the like good qualities and benefits of the fragrance without alcohol and this is the most portable of the bunch too. I won't say it's like completely travel friendly but you can still carry it. All of the caps lock on very securely and they're very tight so they're not just going to come off. Even the caps for the EDP and EDT, they give a good squeak before they come off which I like. So they are like nice and tight and if you carry them with you anyway the cap is not going to just fall off. Another thing that Body Shop is really famous for is all their products are vegan, never tested on animals and they contain fair trade ingredients that are sort of acquired from all over the world. So in this one, the EDP and EDT, the alcohol is got from sugarcane, it's got from these farmers in South America and the way in which it's sourced allows the farmers to kind of protect the land as well as grow their business so that's always a plus because I can shop guilt free from the body shop knowing that they have acquired the ingredients in a good way. That's all I have to say for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.